Hey everyone, so for today's film highlights video of the films that I've watched and loved recently, I have selected a few films that I thought were absolutely astounding. So the first one is an Emma Thompson film and this is Saving Mr. Banks and this is all about the creation of Mary Poppins and Emma Thompson plays P.L. Travers, the writer of the novel and it's all about how it came about and there's a lot of uh, doubts in Mrs. Travers's mind about the way they were going to do this and the fact that it was going to be a musical and it's just a new way to relive the story and relive the music and see the magic of Disney and you have to watch it. Sticking with actors I love, the second one is a Johnny Depp film, this is Ninth Gate, and he plays a antiquarian book dealer who goes on this quest to find the differences between these various editions of a book. There are only a few copies and each one is slightly different, nobody knows which is the original and it leads him on this very kind of satanic, dark, fiery, burning trail and it's so thrilling and so exciting and my heart raced through it and I loved it. Cop comedy for the next one, this is The Heat, directed by Paul Feig, Mr. Poole, and I honestly cried with laughter all the way through this. It's a, a typical good cop, bad cop comedy. We've got Melissa McCarthy as the bad cop, and the wonderful Sandra Bullock as the good cop, and I think their on-screen partnership is hilarious. Now, I love, I love crime dramas, crime films, but then when you put humour into it, it's just hilarious and I think Paul Feig is a fantastic director, obviously a great cast for this and if you only watch one comedy this year I definitely think it should be this one. Then we have Inception which is a very complex film, it's all about dreams within dreams within dreams, we have these dimensions and we're travelling down these different dimensions and the mind creates these different worlds and it's very complicated, you have to pay full attention to it if you want to get the benefits of it but if you do, which you know, just don't watch it when it's late at night when you're tired, basically. Um, but when, when you watch it, it's it's stunning. The visual effects are gorgeous. It does boggle the mind, and there are a few times when I thought, right, what's going on here? But for the most part, it's relatively easy to follow if you're paying attention, and it's just wonderful. Then we have Captain America. Uh, I'm not American. Uh, then we have Captain America. I'm starting to turn into a bit of a Marvel fan. I'm still a DC girl. I still love Batman, but... Uh, yeah, Captain America was great. It was quite comical in parts, um, with the singing and dancing and things, which I think broke up the height of the action and the severity of it. But I think for me, for a, a proper introduction to Marvel, uh, I really enjoyed it. And I, th I thought the bright colours of his costume worked well with the darker war backdrop. Uh, and I've, th I've since then watched Iron Man and I'm, I'm definitely hooked. Last but not least, we have Midnight in Paris isn't Owen Wilson fantastic. This is all about an inspiring writer who finds himself going back in the past to Paris in the past and hanging out with some of the most infamous writers. And that for me is everything that I love. Writers, time travel, writers. <laughs> as, as a writer, it is something I get a lot of benefit and a lot of um, emotions out of but going back it just makes you think I want to do that and that is my dream to go back in the past and talk to the dead and I wish I could do that but the film is stunning it's in a way if you take out the time travel element it's quite a traditional film there's nothing different about it but with that element it just makes it a bit more unique and I'm sure there was one point they were on Monet's bridge I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure they were on Monet's bridge over a pond of lilies and I love it and it's just one to watch. It's such a feel-good film. Some wonderful films there. I definitely recommend them all. If you have any other, other suggestions for films, do let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!